Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. Well, looky here what I have. I have a train event. So we're going to go ahead and get into the train attack event here. I haven't done one for a while on camera with you guys, so I figured, you know what, let's jump into it and see what we get from this particular event. Now, the other reason why I wanted to sort of um, jump into this event today is only because of a few things. And since the new update, we have gotten a few new items that have made their way into the game. Now, they, were, they weren't really much spoken about. So, you've got your beans, which is one. Obviously, you've got the, um, the grilled ribs as well. Pumpkin has also made its way properly into the game. It has been, um, there's been variations of the pumpkin, obviously, with Halloween event and things like that. Um, obviously, the porridge. Uh, just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea But what hasn't been sort of talked about properly and I sort of wanted to sort of go with uh, Go into that today. So let's go back to the ribs because it does show one um, One of the elements that I'm referencing today is salt so right now salt is only being used to um, as part of the recipe for your grilled ribs, but there's also another element that has is missing and it's not shown here which is spices now the spices here at the moment is we don't actually have any sort of option here that we can actually look into or show us in terms of the food and all that sort of stuff but we can go back to base and see what is spice used for or how it can be used in certain applications so that's where I wanted to sort of touch on with that today. It is a little bit of a um, more of a mellow video today. Just wanted to sort of go through this because it doesn't seem to be covered. And what will things like that be used for in the future? And the only other reason why that I'm here is the likelihood of you actually finding, say, salt or spices can be found in the stopover event and the wrecked train event that we're currently in at the moment. So that's the reason why that we're here today just to see if we can find those items. So at least that way I can actually show you guys, of course, at the end of the day. Uh, got some copper there. Let's throw that into the inventory and move on. Um, okay, let's see what we have in here. We've got a pickaxe. I might take the bronze with me and I'll take that. Actually, you know what, I might take that with me. I'll leave the pickaxe behind. I really don't need that there. All right, make sure you guys do hit the like button today and comment down below. Let me know what you think about. Oh, there we go. We've got some salt. That was quick. And I'll take the bow with me. Yeah, so be sure to comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts about this um, very subject is. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon if you guys are new to the channel. Anyway, let's move over here. See the goon. He's got nothing there for us, so we can move on quite easily. And this is a very, very tamed event. There's really not much, there's more salt. Uh, not much for you guys to actually worry yourselves about. You can actually use melee quite easily without having to, you know, run into the zone uh, with any guns, especially what I'm using at the moment. It's a little bit overpowered for the application today, but just makes it a lot easier for me to roll around and do what I need to do as well. And don't really have to think too much, which makes my life a lot easier. Don't know how you guys um, do your stuff, but I don't know how you guys run into very basic zones. Do you particularly overpower yourselves as you sort of go along? Um, or do you just, are you very savvy in the way that you run into zones? Do you actually have a little bit of a system where you use certain weapons only for certain zones? Let me know in the comments. I'm actually thinking about doing something like that anyway. Um, and I know it's been asked, a few times in the recent comment section of the uh, last few videos of Westland. So I'm thinking about doing something like that or how to easily obtain uh, certain uh, weaponry and all that sort of good stuff. So yeah, something like that I might be considering looking at doing um, soonish just to sort of give you guys, um, you know, a, a little bit of diff uh, change and difference to the, uh, to the standard norm of videos that I'm currently making. So, I'm thinking about that, but I'm just sort of, eh, here we go. We've got some spice here. All right, so emergency stop. That's where we're at at the minute. At the bottom, as you can see in that little pop-up there. 
um, but we've got some in our storage at the minute so at least we've got the the desired resources that I wanted to find at least that way I can show you guys as well uh, on camera but if you do get the emergency stopover event I do believe you do get some in there as well and if you want to find uh, those ribs in order for you to uh, make those grilled ribs then you're best off uh, finding animal like deer I think particularly are the other ones that I've been able to uh, find those uh, ribs so if you guys want to check that out uh, we might even do something like that today as well to see if we can actually find ourselves with some more spices there now the reason why that I'm picking up these reinforced bows is only because that I will um, I won't have to actually craft any for the wounded deer event makes my life a lot easier so I'm not too sure if you guys do the same thing, but again, voice out in the comment section down there. Get rid of this tramp. And I love this, I love this gun as well. So this one here, the Springfield, nice little um, uh, standoff, offy gun kind of thing. I think it's just something that is just very easy to use. And it just, it lets go quite easily. So you don't have to worry about yourself and you don't have to put yourself in a position where you are down on some sort of uh, ability or anything like that. It's a quick firing gun. I enjoy it. Alrighty, what do we have here? Eh, we've got some bandages. I might take that with me. The bottles, I've actually got a lot of bottles actually, believe it or not. Now, I've been slowly but surely, I've gotten myself a cumulative a lot of um, uh, water bottles, so which is good. And I purely use those now primarily a lot for uh, making myself a lot of herbal items and things like that so yeah that's pretty much the reason why i'm sort of i stocked up on a lot of those to begin with uh got the trader out there we're not going to visit him today uh everything else here seems to be fine and dandy actually someone did point out in the comments if you do visit uh, sorry visit the ash grove they sorry the ash grove themselves have the uh weather dynamic changing as well so which is actually kind of cool wouldn't mind visiting that just to sort of check that out and yeah that's probably one thing i might look into again in a future video not too sure but today it's all about just looking at some of the the missed uh, additions to you know recent updates why haven't they been sort of spoken about in the first place and what does that what, what does that do for you guys as players so you've got the grilled ribs there i don't have enough charcoal so i'm going to have to do some charcoal crafting as well so maybe if we just do a few of those so i do have a couple of ribs that we've got there so the hp on that is actually not too bad uh better than um your standard cooked meat obviously you'll find more meat than what you would with grilled ribs but you've got that there all the same if we go to the that's the well if we go over to the, the kitchen over here now we can obviously upgrade as well and do the porridge thing as well i haven't actually done this yet so i do need to um, upgrade to basalt fl uh, floors i'm actually sort of holding off on upgrading all of my workstations because i need to upgrade the floors before i actually do anything so yeah there's that so i'm sort of trying to restructure everything as i sort of go along i sort of worked out what how i'm going to do it um, it probably will involve me uh, separating all of my workstations along with all the storage containers as well just to sort of make it the way I wanted to make it but yeah that's pretty much where I'm at at the minute and what have I got here and as you can see I'm still making up a lot of um, a lot of resources here at the minute and it's yeah it's a it's a bit of a grind it's going to take a little bit of time and resource Time and effort, it's all that. Eventually, once I find um, that fine balance, when I actually start you know, filling out the base, building it up and things like that, obviously I'm gonna burn through a lot of resources, which is obviously what I wanna do. But for now, there's really not much else that I'm going to do. You know, you got the copper, copper knife here. You know what? I don't need any of these fellows here. I mean, the damage is not much. Whoops, you know what, I'll take that away, put that in there. And I think we're good. I think I might be able to drop some things off over here. Yeah, let's go. So let's store some of that in there. 
and let's store some of that in there and I think I might be able to get a few things into here okay so I've still got a few things that I, that ha I haven't been able to get rid of at the minute but right now so yeah so you got the spices and you got the salt here but like I said I haven't actually come across so I've got a bit of salt which is cool and I've got a couple of ribs there which is not bad the spices, I, I haven't actually seen where these would be craftable just yet. And I'm not too sure exactly where they're going to be utilized for. So I'm just going to be stocking up on these things as much as I can until, you know, the developers decide to implement something into the game that would uh, warrant the usage of it. Because at the minute, I don't think a lot of people are uh, stocking up on them. Not too sure about that, so let me know in the comments. But I think I might just drop you there for now, and I'm gonna have to find some, yeah, some remedial storage here to get rid of these fellows here. But I will work that out in a moment once I find. Hopefully, I'll find some. Oh, there you go. There's some more spice over there. So as you can see, I've got a little bit there, but um, if I can store some of that there, and I've just got a lot of things. I've got to go through all of these. Um, storage containers I got, and I need to upgrade them as well see like all this I can pretty much get rid of I really don't need any of these broken things so I can just sort of get rid of them quickly store those up and I'll just leave those there for now yeah I think that will do me okay not too bad so if you want to go out and find some uh, ribs as I said before what we're looking at is we're looking for deer now I'm not too sure it's going to cover any other animals as well so I might actually go into a zone that's going to have possible multiple um, animals so I think we might do I don't know if we should do the dried forest so I don't know if there's any deer there actually you know what we might do I'm gonna head over here I want to head over to the buffalo zone as well to see if that actually has anything there for us as well because i haven't actually looked at you know buffaloes in general for a little while now so i'm not too sure if that's a thing so we'll suss that out now but like i said i just want to show you guys if there's um if you guys are wanting any of these ribs where to find them Oop. i hate those pop-ups that's just a hair all right so we're just gonna be a little bit tricky uh trigger happy on that one but all good so let's uh, find ourselves a deer. There's going to have to be... Oh, there's just these fellas in here. A lot of hares. Not enough deer. Not too sure what, that's a, what that is all about. Not too sure if they've actually changed it. But I would think... Okay. There should be some deer floating about. Or was I just extremely unlucky in terms of not having a deer here at all? I'm just going to quickly open up this chest, just see what's in here. I might even just move over to another um, to another zone just to sort of continue on. But you get what I mean. You might you may not actually get uh, ribs all the time, 100% of the time. So that's something that you always have to look at as well. Um, that I've noticed in my experiences. Like I said, I've only seen two. I've only got two, to be honest. So there's really not much. Uh, you know, um, there's not a lot of um, uh, wide resources for you to get. So you, it, it's not common. So it might be like a game of chance where you might actually find it one in how many that you kill. I don't know. That's that's basically where that's at. All right, let's, um, let's have a look into uh, this fellow over here. Like I said, I doubt that there's going to be any of these um, in, oh sorry, with the buffaloes, but you don't know. So I'm going to try it out. Uh, let's uh, navigate around until we find a buffalo. There we go. Just going to quickly see what's in here first. Take that along with me. And... Okay. Ooh. Whoa, 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 look at this. <laughs> That's got to be a glitch. I'm moving him around like crazy. That was... 
Okay, there's nothing there. <laughs> oh, the, the games and their bugs. I find that hilarious. I, I wonder if that's actually going to work with another one. Let's, let's go ahead and try it. No. Okay. Looked like it was just a one-off thing, but it doesn't appear to be that we're going to find ourselves. Anything else that's different? If we kill a wolf, we're just going to get the standard meats. So I don't know why they've only designated it for, um, for deer. That, I'm not actually too particularly sure why they've done that in the first place. That I can't tell you. So, let's see, he's going to come back at me. He's going to come back at me. He just went flying. Actually, you know what? I'm just in a cluster of these guys here. Hey, look. I can keep moving him along. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel that that's, that's hilariously funny, but that's that's an obvious glitch. So if developers see that, um, I think that's probably something for them to actually, you know, fix up, I guess. All right, so let's head out of here. Let's get back to business. I'm sure that there's got to be some sort of deer around here. I'm going to go over into the, uh, the dense forest over here and see if there's anything there. And let's have a look. You think the, the most easiest animal to find is yet the hardest to find right now when you actually need it. Anyway, it's just all about showmanship and showing you guys exactly what I'm sort of trying to illustrate here. So let's see if we do find ourselves a little deer. Okay, so we've got the Indians there. We don't have to worry about those fellas now. But let's see if we can find ourselves some deer. Yeah, we've got the grey wolf. There's a hare. I don't think these guys here have any themselves. I, all that I've seen is just here we go. And as you can see, their um, their HP is quite a lot as well. There we go. No. As you can see, like I said, you're not always guaranteed to get one. So their hit points, from what I can see, is a lot more than what it has been in previous builds. So yeah, there's there's that. Is there a deer here? Okay, and they actually attack you now, so you have to be careful. So they're not completely defenseless. They will um, turn on you and try to attack you if you attack them, which makes sense. Um, they wouldn't just run away. And didn't find anything there. Do you like the new look uh, dense forest now? What the fog setting and everything else in between. Look, it actually looks really, really nice. But unfortunately, is that the zone? No, surely not. Okay, I'm just looking in a different way. Okay, come here, dear. There we go. Okay, there you go. So you found some succulent ribs there. So let's see how many more we can get. I'm just gonna punch. Um, do I have any weapons? I think I might have something in here. should have a you know what let's just take the Indian musket I think that's good enough you'll do fine there we go I don't think even the uh, the cougars or jaguars or anything like that actually have anything there but it took me about three deers to find those ribs die wolf I doubt these die wolves will have anything okay Okay, let's just take out this fella here. A lot of fangs actually. And him, and let's see this grey wolf actually. Oops. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I'm just going to eat the porridge. And all of this fruit, just get ourselves healed back up. I think we'll be right now, but 
yeah, that pretty much is it, guys. So, nothing in the ways of knowing exactly where these spices are going to be utilized, but at least we know what we can do with the ribs. But it would be nice to find out what those spices will be used in, you know, certain crafting tables and things like that. And now, is it worth your time picking them up? That's the other question. My advice is probably just pick them up for the sake of picking them up, only because you don't know exactly when and how and where they will be needed and utilized. And if you have to use them for certain things, well, at least that way you've already got a, um, a you know, a, a bit of a, a cluster of those and an amount of those that you can use straight away. So, you know, it just puts you on the front, on the front foot. That's pretty much where I would look at it if I were you guys. But otherwise, I'm just sort of going down here looking at it, if there's anything else that I may have missed. Possibly, I reckon it's probably a hidden recipe that I haven't found in a blueprint yet. So there's probably that as well that I'm thinking of just out loud now. Um, let's just take out this last deer here. Okay, he's coming back after me and boom. Nope. And that's pretty much it. I think these are just all hairs here. Nothing to worry about, but that's yeah, pretty much it. We'll go ahead and leave it here today. So interesting video, a little bit different. Just sort of, I figured I'd do something a little bit different to the norm. Anyway, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below, what you thought about this video here. Be sure to like it, it really helps me out when you do like the videos. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so you do not miss out on any future videos. Anyway guys, I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.